Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Pastor Eric Brown with Daily Manor for your soul. Happy Friday to you. I pray the Lord is blessing you real good right now. Look, just want to bring you a word of encouragement. Today, that word is God will make room for you. Oh, can I tell you, when we look over there in Genesis chapter 26, we see Isaac, oh, the son of Abraham, the son of promise. He's beginning to make his way in the world. And it's a famine going on. And he finds himself down in the land of the Philistines. Oh, but I'm here to tell you, God came to him and spoke to him and let him know that I'm going to be with you just like I was with your father. I'm going to bless you. I'm going to bless your descendants. Oh, I'm going to bring you into that land that I promised your father. Your your seed is going to be a great nation. The same promises that I gave to your father, I'm giving to you. Oh, I'm just here to tell you God was about to work a work in the life of Isaac. I'm here to tell you that God was about to make some room for him. Oh, he was down there in the land of the Philistines with King Abimelech. And as he was there and a famine was in the land, Isaac began to plant crops. And, 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 and the crops that he planted, God gave him a hundredfold return on everything he planted. His flocks grew, his cattle grew. Oh, he was he was becoming a great and rich man. He was because he was so blessed and becoming so rich. Oh, that the Philistines and King and King Abimelech looked at him with envy and with fear. Oh, I'm here to tell you, sometimes when you are, when you are blessed of the Lord and your anointing is flowing in your life, uh, folk would get uncomfortable with you. They'll begin begin to get envious of you, jealous of you, almost down right fearful of you because they don't know what to make of you. But all it is is that God is just making room for you. And sure enough there came a day when King Abimelech asked him to move on out a little further um, because, because he was so afraid of him. But that was alright. God was beginning to make room for him. Oh, uh, Watch this. Um, Isaac was out there and, and, and he wanted to dig some wells. So he dug a well and God blessed him with water. But don't you know one of the shepherds of the Philistines came and, and begin to quarrel with him and say that this this well is ours and so and so Isaac didn't argue he didn't fuss he just moved on a little further why because God will make room for you and he moved on a little further and, and, and he dug another well and if God gave him one God would give him two and, and he dug that well and God blessed him again and, and he found water but here come some more shepherds of the Philistines here they come and, and they claim this well too said this well is ours so that's all right, if God gave me one, he sure enough gave me two, I believe he'll give me a third one. Why? Because God will make room for you. And, and sure enough, Isaac and his men, they dug another well. And the Lord blessed them again with water. But this time, nobody came to claim it. And, and Isaac looked at that well and, and gave God the glory and gave God the praise. And, and he named that well Rehoboth. Or can I tell you, Rehoboth means God will make room. Oh, somebody better get that. Oh, when you're walking under that open heaven, when you're walking in the promises of God, when you're walking in the anointing of God, when you trusted the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him. God will not only direct your path, but God will put you in a place where he has made room for you, that you might give him the glory, that God be glorified, and that the kingdom of God be magnified. Somebody needs to get that. Oh, I want you to be encouraged today day uh, and know and know that God will make room for you. No matter what your enemy is doing, no matter what your enemy is saying, no matter how your enemy is attacking, no matter how your enemy may be trying to constrict you and stop you and block you, uh, it doesn't matter what the enemy is trying to do, but he won't be able uh, to circumvent the will of God for your life. God said, I know the thoughts and I know the plans that I have for you, the thought for your good and not your evil to bring you to an expected end. God has a place for you. God has room for you. God has a land for you. God has a work for you. God has a ministry for you. Oh, God has healing for you. God has blessing for you. God has it all for you. He, oh, the blessings of the Lord maketh rich and addeth no sorrow with it. Oh, I'm here to tell you, God's going to make it so that you'll be able to enjoy all that he has for you. Why? Because God will make room for you. Look, you have an awesome day. You be blessed of the Lord. Peace.